hello friends i'm going to explaining explaining how to create the stored procedure with dynamic filters these uh, so these are the two tables i'm going to use for demo so if you observe categories so i have three categories and and there is a, a gadget corresponding categories so so if you see gadgets table uh, have the foreign key uh, category id for the gadgets table so i can relate between these two so now i will uh, show demo how to create stored pressure with dynamic filters so let me go to the uh, database North wind I am selecting these two tables are available under the North wind data data source and program stored procedures stored procedures uh, these uh, these are the syntax for the stored procedure so I am going to create the name for this one. SP. So here I need to uh, um, create the variables, input variables. So I am going to uh, create the begin date. So this is the date uh, data type. So initially I am assigning default to I am assigning null for this. same time for the end date so null and name again 30 so the purpose here of assigning null is suppose I suppose if user don't pass any value it will take as a null so so these, these are the my input parameters and I am setting no count on so so I won't get any extra result Now I will uh, uh, prepare for the select statement. So at present I am giving the select star. From tbo dot categories ct. So I am I'm going to the inner join. So if required, if you can go for left and right of the join. So right now for demo purpose, I am using inner join. Here get just gd on ct dot category equal to gd dot Category ID So now here I will filter my data where condition where so now CT dot date created between Begin date and end date and so I will give another filter here 
category city dot name like and in wild card here so um, my keyboard is not working function for the present so I am using this one so here my SP is partially ready so, so I am going to execute this one creating procedure. So my procedure got created. This is my procedure. Let me try to execute this one. Excc. So normally, it, uh, so it won't ac accept passing any value. So these are all three are optional parameters. So don't pass anything it will uh, treat it null and uh, pass this one so if you observe in where condition so even if null case also uh, so in null cases so at present the begin date end date is null so I'm not getting any data even uh, name also null but in real time scenarios sometimes user can pass name sometimes user cannot suppose if user uh, cannot pass uh, required uh, filter name it should not be uh, part of the where condition so it will ignore that so to do that we need to add one more condition one more check here e is null of name I think some syntax show here so if you see the syntax here so I made it like this so if any time name is null it will ignore the remaining statement so it will uh, the uh, uh, the condition is not part of the where class so here in my case, so I, I did the same thing for begin date as well as end date. If begin date or end date is null, the this condition is not part of the where. So it will ignore this one, it will proceed for the name. It will return true. In that case, uh, it won't uh, the where condition won't include. So so this this statement is not part of where, so it will ignore this. So I did the same thing for uh, this begin as well as end and name. So I will try to alter this procedure. So now procedure got uh, uh, compiled properly. So it got, so let me execute this one. So if you observe this, I will create a new window. So if you observe this, uh, this proc, so at present I am not passing any value. So uh, by default, uh, as I mentioned, by default it will be null. So uh, the, it, it has ignored all the cases, it written all the values. So let me pass one value for the name.
so to call the procedure if it's in input parameters we have to um, provide the uh, parameter name with the value like this Yeah, let me see category. Let me check the value. Thing is tablet, so I have to. Buy. So at present, so there is no any value related to name track, and that's why I don't get any result. So now I'm going to pass with the proper values. So these are the values for the tablet. So let me pass the data also here. So I'm using most of the cases shortcuts. for begin date so I am only passing the begin date here so here the begin date is uh, it is got ignored so I am it is only written in the tablets so so, uh, so it because uh, uh, in my condition I mentioned see it required begin date as well as end date that's why this statement entered got uh, entered got ignored and only name which contain uh, what is the related value it is displaying so let me change this one one and let me execute so I don't get any value because there's no value related to tablet two one so let me pass another value in date so I'm giving the same name so uh, let me uh, so let me execute without the two, these two parameters between so let me see. so in, in these two between the uh, dates so I'm going to get the complete data so six and seven uh, six and seven between these two dates these are the data available so these are the data is uh, from returning from the SP so let me execute with this so in this combination I don't have any value uh, so that's why I don't get let me see the actual data so these are the tables between uh, these dates and along with the tab tablets but this is the data I'm getting so friends I explained that how to create the SP with the input parameters default null and how to execute with the dynamically dynamic values for the stored procedures. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much. If you enjoy this uh, session, please like my video. Thank you.